Investigators are calling a man overboard incident on a popular cruise ship, the second incident in the last three months, calling it suspicious. And I've looked at some interesting statistics. What do you think the most frequent cruise ship accident is? And where does it happen? Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loga. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face, for your face on Sunday, Sunday, June the 9th, 2024. First, let's talk about this incident that has been called suspicious happened on the MSC Eurebia. And this is the second time in three months they've had a man overboard incident. The MSC Eurebia was traveling in Norway through Sonjenfjord. And around 2 a.m., a passenger went overboard. The alarm was sound the rescue effort was mobilized and the person who went overboard was recovered from the water. Unfortunately, even though the person was rescued from the water, they did pass away from this incident. And now investigators are calling the circumstance of this overboard suspicious, I think, because when I read the quote from the police, I'm like, it seems like you're covering all your basis here. The investigation includes questioning the crew, gathering the video evidence to try to determine exactly what happened. The quote from the investigators is this, this is coded as a suspicious death. We have several hypotheses. It could be an accident, a criminal act, or an intentional act. You think it could be like what else is left? Uh, an accident, a criminal act, or an intentional act? But yet they're they're calling it suspicious. Now, certainly, if you keep up with what's going on in cruising with any sort of frequency, you know that occasionally we do have these overboard incidents. But you know, if you compare it to the amount of people that cruise versus the amount of people that go overboard, it's very very small number. But it's you know, it's tragic and it's right there in your face when it happens. But it sent me down the rabbit hole today. In my mind, I wanted to know when it came to people passing away on cruise ships, were there any statistics out there that kind of describes it? And I stumbled upon, it's interesting when you do this Google search, most of the hits are law firms. Like the law firms seem to have statistics. I don't know, but I found, uh, I found an interesting page from a law firm that breaks down some of cruising's, uh, you know, statistics. The one that fascinated me was what, what is the most frequent kind of incident or injury on a cruise ship? Let, let's pop over into the computer and, and go through this, these statistics. All right, here we are on the website of personal injury attorneys, Biznar and Chase. And they have uh, provided a nice article here talking about uh, incidents on cruise ships. Here's one, a leading cause of injuries and deaths on cruise ships, overboard. The next two, murder, suicide, natural causes, cardiac incidents, slip and fall accidents, food contamination and food poisoning, swimming pool accidents, poor maintenance or technical issues with the ship, fires and explosions, or pirates, pirates and terror attacks. Chronicle some of the recent articles that we've seen in the news. And then they have these statistics, which I kind of like. About 30 million people take cruises every year. One study found that 623 reported deaths between 20 or 2000 and 2019. More than 100 cruise ships have run aground since 1980. That's interesting. Only 28% of people who fall overboard will survive, and 89% of cruise ship deaths are passengers while 11% are crew members. One study looked at passenger incidents over a three-year period. Across three years, 663 injuries were reported. Of the injuries, 12.5% were serious, meaning that they needed onshore hospitalization or a two-week recovery time. Most injuries, 65.3% were sustained on the ship. The rest, 31.1%, were during shore excursions and wow, 3.6% of cruise injuries on them tender boats. You gotta be careful on the tender boats. Here it is. Here's the most frequent. Slips, trips, and falls accounted for nearly 45% of the injury on vessel and almost 70% of injuries on shore. Look, I, I fell down. I fell down in Dublin. Um, yeah, it, it happens. And so 
good warning here. Make sure that you take shoes that you can walk well in and make sure that you are walking well and paying attention to where you're walking. Slips, trips, and falls. That's the big one. And aboard the cruise ship, the most common location for injuries were in the cabin and in the bathrooms, 13.4%. These are low percentages, 20 and 13.4%, but maybe that's a, maybe got to get out of the cabin so you don't get hurt in there. CruiseMapper.com tracks reported incidents involving cruise ships. The following statistics show the numbers and types of incident occurring on cruises from April 2014 to April 2024. Here we go. Uh, 307 deaths. That's the big one, unfortunately. Medivax, which is close behind. 299. Illness, 277. Structural, technical, 168. Loss of power, 164. Collisions, 108. Fire, 106 over that 10-year period. Crime, uh, overboards, 91. Right there in the middle, overboards, 91 out of the last 10 years. Rescue, ground, like it wouldn't rescue a medevac. It could be similar, but maybe rescue like when you're rescuing a vessel. Rescue, 76. Grounding, 42. Drug smuggling, 41. Pollution, 18. Listing, 10. And uh, in the last 10 years, three incidents of pirates. And any of those numbers surprise you? What, what may surprise you? And it's a little bit of a confession time for me. I've been doing the weirdest thing. Look, I've been, I've been journaling I've been journaling a food experience. I've been completely obsessed with apple pie, apple pie with ice cream, apple pie without ice cream. And I thought, well, what better way to round out my apple pie experience than to experience it uh, at all of these cruise port stops that I go to? So, like, here's an entry Nassau, Bahamas, blue skies, Atlantis in the distance. Uh, I, I got apple pie, $4, no ice cream. Uh, another one here, St. Thomas, uh, cloudy, a cloudy day in St. Thomas, a little drizzly, but I found the best piece of apple pie, $8. Uh, I even have an entry here for probably, uh, I don't know, I got Dutch apple pie in Curacao, right? Is that a little cliche? Of course, you would get Dutch apple pie in Curacao, um, $6, $2 apple pie in Falmouth, Jamaica, $4 apple pie in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The, the, the reason I share this with you, of course, I think is to be transparent, but I also think it's important for you guys as cruisers out there to keep up with the 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 pirates of the Caribbean. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm I'm here all week. I'm actually here almost every day. It'd be a great time to subscribe if you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Also, a great time to hit the like button if you're having a good time. And if you want to hear the tragedy of me falling down in Dublin, uh, make sure you check out this video next. This is Tony for La Lita Loca, and until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise news. Cruise news. Cruise.